hello and welcome once again in this video i'm going to show you how i made this mouse i've been experimenting with different designs of mice in different sizes and i'm slowly getting there so every piece just gives us a lot to learn so it has the tiny hands and feet and a wire armature so let's get started i've taken two pipe cleaners and one I've cut in half and then I've folded over the edges and made the arms and the legs. The other pipe cleaner I've bended one third of it roughly and I'm pinching it to make the head and then I'm inserting the first half that will be the legs uh, sorry the arms and from the bottom i'm attaching the feet the rest of it will be the tail and i'm covering it with uh, corridor slivers and slivers make it easier to cover the pipe cleaners and pipe cleaners hold the wool very well I'm using pipe cleaners from Hobbycraft and I think they are more sturdy than the regular ones that you get normally. So they are a bit thicker. I find them a bit thicker and not as flimsy as the normal ones. This is a very simple armature. I haven't gone into the realistic details or the anatomy. It's just giving the arms and shape, the arms and legs something to hold on to. And I'm still learning the wire armature. So this is the first time I stabbed myself. <laughs> I'm going to give it some body and cover it as much as I want the head to be and the body as well so once you've covered it you can add more wool and then keep stabbing you can see it's coming into shape and this is the head so it's kind of a cone where the nose will be so leaving that part I'm adding more wool to the head you have to use your fingers to shape the piece that you're doing as well so i'm just trying to determine how the big how big the head is going to be and adding more wool to the body you can make it as fat as you want your mouse to be the eyes and there's more going to be on the head but just to secure the eyes I've popped them in and glued them As you can see, I'm adding wool where I think it's needed, and then just having it down. Now it has shape of a body. 
I'm going to cover it with brown wool. I think it's Shetland. I got it from Wonderful. It's soft and it's easy to handle. So I'm going to cover the whole body with the brown. giving it the mouth before I move on just a piece of wool folded and I'm felting it down so got the two wool pieces on both sides and it's the mouth as well as the cheeks just below the nose and this is going to be the mouth really tiny piece step down and I'm putting it right under and I go off the camera again. I'm sorry about that. Now I'm giving it cheeks. And I've taken thick amount of wool. So it has thicker cheeks and looks cuter. And as you can see, I've moved around the eyes. So the eyes have gone into the head. Taking a tiny strand and I'm going around the eyes. Getting the extra bits off and you can stop your piece as much as you want to until you get a nice neat finish I've got some ivory merino top and I'm putting that in front of the body the chest and I'm going to use the same color for the mouth right under the nose I added some more brown color around the nose and the ivory below it and the cheeks and the mouth and I'm using a toothpick to make tiny fingers just rolled some wool on the toothpick, took it off and stopped it down to give it shape and then you have to rub it between your palms. So these are the tiny toes and you can make three or four as you wish. I've made four for a hand. The four arms. And then just folded the rest of the fluff that was left around it to give it shape of the hand. And this is going to be really tiny.
and as my uh, pipe cleaner seems short I'm adding more brown wool to it and then I'm just going to uh, attach it and roll the brown wool around the arm to give it a bit of the length that I need I think the wire is a bit short so just gone around the arm and stabbed it down same way I'm going to make the feet and these toes are going to be a bit longer and I'm making three for the feet and slightly longer It's too long so I've cut it and attaching it around the legs and then I'm going to cover it with brown wool. Just wrapping it around. I've used a bit of more ivory color to cover the the wires that I can see. It's folded, it's not poking out, but just to cover it. And that forms the back of the foot. Now both legs are done and going to add some more brown color to the bottom but before that I have to finish the tail so I'm covering it with the Corydale tail sliver that is fawn colored and just a bit more on the tip stabbing it down then I'm going to go down all the way to the bottom so it's nicely covered. Now I'm going to add more brown wool to the bottom and going to give the shape to the tail line as well adding a thicker piece of wool to make the thighs I'm adding more ivory wool to the chest area <clears throat> because I think the arms need to be a bit more further apart and it just didn't seem a bit right so I just pushed them back with my fingers and added more ivory Now I'm giving it a pink nose, just a light pink merino top. And you have to be careful with the smaller parts of the faces. They have to be 
done well and neatly so just taking little pieces of wool and stabbing them down in the shape of the nose and giving it a bit of a darker brown shade very little piece of wool and into the mouth as well just to define it that was a bit too much so I've taken it out cut it now the ears I'm making with carded wool again they have to be round you have to measure it on your piece so you don't make too big ears are too small once you've made one you can use it as a stencil and do the other one of the same size trying to get the sizes right both have to be same I'm going to add some pink to the inside Next I'm ironing it with my hair straightener and it works very well for the ears you get a nice crisp and thin ears just cutting off the extra fluff coming out and now I'm going to fold them a bit just get them roughly in place just to see if I've got the positioning right and then I'm going to stab them down all around Now stab down both the ears and all around. Then I'm going to cover the the hair, the ends of the ears that we're working out with brown wool. So here it is. You can see covered it all with brown wool. Just the finishing. And here it is done. I hope you enjoyed doing this. I really enjoyed the ears part. I hope you make your own mouse soon. Thank you very much for watching.